how would you know if you had a propane leak in your RV? Obviously, if you smell it, then you would, but it's possible you could have a leak, never smell it. But I'm going to tell you how we're going to find out in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back, everyone. My name's Patrick, and I am so glad you stopped by Travels with Delaney today. Now, in today's episode, what I want to do is show you how I check to make sure we don't have a slow propane link in our RV, because honestly, it can be dangerous if you do, and it gets costly if you're leaking out propane and you don't even know it. Now, if you watched our channel for any length of time, you know that we are always protected by gas stop. Now, if you're not familiar with gas stop, this is the gas stop safety valve. Now, we've been using these for several years, and the way it works is it just attaches to your propane tank, and then you plug your hose into it. And what it does is, it's the only safety valve on the market that will 100% shut off the flow of propane in the event of a major leak. And my biggest fear has always been we're driving down the highway and we run over a piece of retread in the highway, flies up, bust a propane line and causes a major leak, which could lead to a fire explosion or worse. But because it has to allow the normal flow of propane, so you can use things like your stove, your oven, maybe your water heater, and in some cases your refrigerator, it won't sense a slow leak. But what most people don't realize is we all purchase the gas stop for that safety protection for the major leak, but this can actually be used to check for a slow leak. And today what I wanna do is show you just how simple this is. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and put our gas stop back on our propane tank. And again, I'm just going to attach the safety valve. And then I'm going to take my propane hose that goes to the RV and attach it to the gas stop. Once those are all good and tight, I'm going to go ahead and open up my valve on my propane tank. And then I'm just going to push right on top three to five times to pressurize the system. And I can clearly see that we have good pressure. Now that's the other thing about the gas stop. It can act as a meter to let you know how much propane you roughly have in your tank. And you can see we're pretty close to full. So. But what we really want to do is find out, do we have a slow leak in our RV? And so the first thing we need to do is head inside and make sure we actually have propane flowing. To me, one of the easiest ways to bleed your line and make sure there's no air in the propane and the propane's flowing well is right here at the stove. I'm just going to go ahead, light a burner, and let it burn for a few seconds. That way we know we have good propane flow throughout the RV. Now, once we're sure of that and there's no air in the line, we can go ahead and shut that back off and we're gonna head back outside. The next step is to go ahead and shut the propane tank itself off. We know we have good pressure, we're seeing it, we know it's flowing inside. Let's go ahead and turn off the valve on the propane tank. And now we just wait. If there's no small leak in the system, our valve will show that we still have pressure. But after a few minutes, if we come back and that valve has shown a decrease in pressure. It tells us we're leaking somewhere between here at the valve and who knows where. All right, it's been about 10 minutes and I come back out and I'm looking and the needle has not moved at all. And that's great news, it means we have no propane leaks in our system. And considering this is a brand new trailer, that's a good feeling. Now let me demonstrate for you what would have happened had we had an actual slow propane leak. And I'm gonna demonstrate this by just slowly unscrewing my connection that goes to the RV. And you will be able to follow the needle and see that needle as I slowly let some of this propane start escaping in the line, the needle goes all the way down. And that's what you'd be looking for if you actually had a slow propane leak. This is such a simple test you can do with your gas stop valve. I recommend doing it on a regular basis because you just never know. And there's lots of reasons you could end up with a small leak. A fitting could come loose. One of your hoses could crack. I mean, there's just all kinds of things that could play into it. So it's a good idea just to always be safe. Like I said, not only can it be a safety concern, a health concern, but it's also very costly if you're slowly leaking propane out. If you already own a gassed out valve, let me know down in the comments section, do you use your valve to do checks to make sure you don't have a slow propane leak? And if you don't own a gassed out valve, I'm gonna go ahead and put up a video that I made about the gas stop that may be informational for you in deciding whether the gas stop valve might be right for you. And I'm gonna pop that right up here for you so you can check it out next. And until next time, everybody, we'll see ya on down the road. Bye.